This is where criminals come to be punished. The attorney center in only Tennessee was once built to hold teens. Now it holds grown men, men convicted of violent crimes, including murder. <laughs> Inside this building, these convicted felons are using their time in prison to help people living on the outside. They're training service dogs. The men know this work does not change what they've done, but the men told me training these service dogs is a way of adding something positive to a society they have taken so much from. For the people receiving these dogs, the task as simple as pressing a button or even flipping a switch is impossible. That's why these dogs help so much. The dogs become companions and helpers with those everyday tasks. They can also sense low blood sugar in diabetics and sense an oncoming seizure in people with epilepsy. Even be put under oath to help put young children at ease. Yeah. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing. Who will have to testify in court. Ricky San Martino's been in prison since 1993. He's raising Noir. The opportunity to give back to society and be able to train a dog for somebody else instead of myself was greater than to be in here. This training class is a first of its kind in a Tennessee prison. Retrieving Independence taught the inmates how to train the dogs. With the exception of weekends, the dogs live and train with the inmates for more than a year. In this environment, they get a lot more consistency. They um, are able to spend time doing exactly what they're supposed to do. But it goes deeper. The dogs are raising these men too. Carl Blake is training Rex. It has given me more patience and taught me more consistency in my life. You just make different choices when you're living for something other than yourself. Two weeks after our first visit, it's graduation day. The dogs have completed training, a 15-month journey. It's a bittersweet moment for these inmates. They have to say goodbye. It's been a rough, but then like I said, I, I was thinking about what she's gonna do. But as these dogs leave, the steel bars of prison behind in front of them is a life of service, service that changes the lives of people in ways that bring some to tears. Already just in the last week, he saved my life three or four times. Still to come, at home with Rex and his new owner, Andrew. At the Turney Center Industrial Complex, Joseph Pleasant, Nashville's News 2. <laughs> From the beginning, it was almost like Rex chose Andrew Booker, not the other way around. This is video of their first meeting. Rex picked up his leash and put it in Booker's lap. Oh, he brought it to you, Andrew. How could Rex know how much Booker and his wife Alicia needed him? I know for my wife, it was, everything was really stressful. Because she, I mean, she, I can never be alone. I have a home health care worker who's here during the day while she has to go to work. Andrew Booker has juvenile diabetes, epilepsy, and a condition known as autonomic autoimmune ganglionopathy, a neurological disorder that can keep Booker from sensing dips or spikes in his blood sugar or the onset of a seizure. That's where Rex is changing Booker's life. Rex is a service dog trained by inmates at the Turney Center Industrial Complex, a first of its kind program in a Tennessee prison run by the Retrieving Independence Organization. Rex can sense an oncoming seizure and dangerous changes in Booker's blood sugar. This is video Booker's wife took during a dangerous blood sugar drop. It's already just in the last week, he saved my life three or four times. Rex doesn't just increase independence for Booker, it's really an independence for the entire family. A few days ago, Rex started to alert Booker and his wife that something was wrong. So I walked over and I started watching Andrew, and sure enough, he went into a seizure. Most of the time I'm alone, and it's... It's just, a, it's scary. During a seizure, Rex lays across Booker to protect his head until the seizure is over. He can also fetch Booker's medicine bag, get juice for him if his blood sugar is low, and even call for help if a seizure happens while Booker and Rex are home alone. And I said to her, I was like, hey, no, it's cool. I've got Rex. He's got my back. And you could start letting go. You don't have to be constantly worried about me. When Booker started raising money to help pay for Rex's training, he launched a website called Partner for Life. At the time, he thought it was a clever name. Now he realizes it was the best way to describe Rex's new role in his family. And to have a partner like Rex that I can lean on, that I know that can help me do all that stuff, uh, it's very empowering. Empowering and liberating because the Bookers have, dare I say it, a new leash on life. In Hermit is Joseph Pleasant, Nashville's News 2. Thank <laughs> you.